Hello and welcome to episode 184. We are going to make an item that has attributes that we can turn on and off. Well, really, it's going to be two items and we're going to be switching between them. So let's get started straight away. So I'm going to make an item that when you're holding it in your main hand, it gives you speed. And you can right click to turn the speed on and right click to turn the speed off. Set, set up. Okay. We are going to want a couple of scoreboards. Scoreboard, objectives, add, used stick. And it is going to be of type used carrot on a stick. Clearly not how you spell carrot. Okay. And we're going to have another one. This one's going to be a dummy scoreboard. Objectives, add, switch, dummy, done. And we're going to have give ourselves the initial item. Give. We will give, uh, well, just me, so nearest player, carrot on a stick. And I'm going to give it a bit of custom MBT, switch to number two. And let's give it a name, display name. Okay, and either side of name, we need our little apostrophes. Text, and let's call it a uh, speed off. Done. Let's get one of them. Let's have a look at it. It's called speed off. Yep. Let's data get entity at p selected item. And we can see it's got a custom tag there. Switch to number two. Okay. This is a little system I saw a Gal Sergi answer a person's question with, and I thought, oh, it'd be interesting if we add some attributes to this. Let's have a controller. And let's write the controller. So first, execute as all players scores equals what score, uh, we call it used stick, equals one or higher. So if they've right clicked their cow on a stick, we are going to store result score in that player in their switch objective, run data get from entity themselves. And we're going to get it from the selected item. And we're going to get it from their tag. And we're going to get it from the switch to tag. So remember, we're summoning it, and we've get switch to equals two. So we're going to get a two there, and we're going to store it in our switch value. Done. You're actually going to be no nope, needs redstone. Beat. Now we're going to do something based on that number. So we will item replace entity at a at a scores equals use stick equals one. Oh no, not use stick. This time we're going to go on that switch. The what score we just grabbed. Sorry, switch equals one. Okay, and we are going to weapon with carrot on a stick, open close, switch underline to two, comma, display name, text, speed off. Okay, so that's what we've already got. Let's copy all of that. Shift home, control copy. So we've got one with two. We're grabbing the number, we're getting the number two. We're checking the number, and here we're checking if the number is one. So we're not going to do that first. We're going to do this one. 
So if the number equals two, then give them a carrot on a stick, but instead switch to one. And let's change the name to speed equals on. Okay, we'll just leave that there for now. And we'll add a couple of extra bits. So we've got three there. Okay, so we've got grab the number, switch if the number is one, switch if the number is two, then we better reset all the scores. So scoreboard, objectives, uh, scoreboard, we're resetting, so players, I cannot type again today, I apologize. Reset for all players, used stick, done. We haven't actually pressed that button yet, so they're not showing. And scoreboard, players, reset for all players, um, switch. We've got two there from the last from the last tutorial, I think. It's sneaking in, sneaking last. Just being confusing. Scoreboard, objectives, remove, is sneaking, is sneaking last. Yeah, they're from the last one. Right, so first of all, we look at our selected item. We get the number stored in switch two. If that number is one, we switch to the speed off stick. If that number is two, we switch to the speed on stick. And then we clear our two objectives. Let's try. So we've got speed off, speed on. And I'm right clicking here. Speed off, speed on, speed off, speed on. Cool. Let's turn it back off. Let's add something to the speed on. Let's add some attributes. So we want some attribute modifiers. Okay, that's a list. Put them in the list. Now we're going to have one, the first one. Uh, we're going to check the slot. I want it to be in the main hand. It's only going to work if it's in the main hand. So slot equals main hand. Okay, and then attribute name. And the attribute name is generic dot movement underline speed yes after the attribute name we have name and the name is exactly the same generic dot movement underline speed okay after that we're going to have an amount amount uh, quite small probably let's go for 0 0.5 we're gonna have an operation are we gonna add it to the base are we gonna multiply it we're just gonna pick operation zero and we're gonna need a UUID uh, which has an I a colon okay so that is not shift colon that is colon just by itself uh, I'm just going to put one, 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 one. That's fine as long as you're not using it for anything else. And let's just check our brackets at the end. We should have close the list. Close that one and then close the next list and then close that one. That looks good. Okay, let's do it done. So now speed off. Let's turn speed on. It gives me an item with the attribute speed attribute and I keep running and I turn it off and I can right click to turn it on and I can right click to turn it off cool there we go it's a bit of fun isn't it I suppose if you're using a data pack you could give this a custom model but uh, we, we haven't got into data packs yet so we're just using our carrot on a stick but that is how we get a little toggleable item which we can uh, use to activate and deactivate um, an attribute okay I'll see you in the next one take care bye bye